hello yes you read the title of this video correctly i will be scalping myself on the internet for free I've never been much of a wig person myself. I think it's kind of funny to see the transformation of like wigs over time because like my, I'm like gonna dox my mom. She wears wigs. Call the police. We need to call the police. No, we have to call the police. so weird because like in her like generation and her age group they don't talk about it like like they know because it's like your hair didn't look like that last week but it's fine you still look cute when my little brother was younger he would always be like mom like is that a new wig <laughs> i'm like shut up you don't say that word ever <laughs> i feel like it's funny because in like my generation and like my age group people talk about wigs all the time like this is where i got it link down below like yeah the, the 16 inch lace front 360 lace whatever like i wore a wig in spain and my friends one of my friends was like where'd you get that wig like i need one and i was like i brought it with me sorry <laughs> but it's just like the conversation is a lot more open about it um and i think it's so great i feel like it should be i feel like it used to be this really taboo thing like oh my gosh you're wearing a wig and it was like also like rooted in like um internalized misogyny and internalized hatred of ourselves as women or even men or whoever non-binary whatever you are um that, like you're fake and like you aren't like up to par with like people who are just like naturally beautiful even though they're wearing makeup but the guy's like wow i love natural girls even though she's wearing like three layers of makeup but it's fine that's not what we're here to talk about and this is not a commentary deep dive on wigs i've got them all next to me right here um i'll be trying them all on and ranking them i don't know what i'm ranking them on yet We'll figure that out as we go. However, before we get on with the video, if this is your first time seeing my face, hi, my name is Tia. I make videos here on the internet and it would make me so happy if you subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you never miss a single upload. With that being said, let's get these wigs on my head. Oh my God, wait, that rhymed. I don't know which one to start with. I've got a couple braided ones, pixie cuts. They literally look the same though. I don't know why she has two of these. Wavy slash straight ones, like curly ones. Let's start with the shortest. Let's start with this guy right here. I don't know which way is the front. Oh, there's a tag. Okay, I figured it out. Um, I get a mirror. I'll be right back. This trusty guy from the eyebrow video. I'm so confused. <laughs> Why is it like so voluminous up here? This is really giving me something. I don't know what it is though. I feel like this is like, like maybe an 80s <laughs> or like a 70s. <laughs> what kind of hairstyle is this? I just really can't get over this, this part right here. The fluff, the volume is insane. I'm gonna rank this. Okay, two criterias. What I'm actually ranking it and what I wear in the public. What I'm ranking this, I think I'm gonna give this like a four. I just, I think I have no words. As for if I would wear this in public, the answer is no. My mom looks good in it though. I mean, she looks good in all of these. That's why she has them. Like she knows what she looks good in. Sometimes she'll text me and be like, which one should I wear? And then will send me a picture of herself with like two different wigs. Or like, which one should I buy? And she's in the store with two. I love, I just love it when she like consults me in these. Wig number two. Okay, so they are kind of different. This one is so long and it's in my eyes and this makes me remember why I hated having bangs when I had them. Um, I look like a boy band reject. Wait, wait, can I do the thing? Like the, hold on, is it like the flick? Did it work? Or kind of, kind of, <laughs> kind of. Um, I also feel like a first grade teacher. And then you guys would. Was that just my school? Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Like the little clap things you do to like get this, the kids to be quiet and then they do it back. Um, I think I dislike it less than the other one, but it's also really irritating because like it gets in my eyes. I just don't know if I like it. <laughs> I don't think I like it. Maybe I'd give this one like a five. If I gave the other one a four, I think this could be a five. But I really feel like I look like a, like a middle class. Oh my gosh, I see it. I'm like, a middle class, suburban, white picket fence, mother of three. I work from home. I got the minivan, all the kids to soccer practice, then math practice, and then whatever other practices. Um, and I love my life. I really love my life. I always am armed with orange slices and vitamin C pouches. 
because nobody's getting sick in this house. Proof I have the attention span of a goldfish. Would I wear it in public? I wouldn't. But my alt- Ooh, the mail is here. Ooh, hello. Okay, next, I think I'm going to do the wavy ones. This one is so long. It's got inches. Oh my gosh, wait, I feel like- Wait, hold on, I have to fix this. I feel like this looks like um, my hair is like flowing. You know, when I like lifted up, I felt like it just looked like I had inches. It's like flowing in the wind. You know, like perfume commercial, like America's Next Top Model, Tire Banks. You know, I'm giving it. I'm really giving it, forehead and all. I should have brought a brush with me because this is a little knotted. I don't think I've ever seen my mom wear this wig, not once. She was gifted it um, by one of our aunts. Um, and my aunt actually gifted me one as well, as well as a braided wig that my mom stole and you will see it in this haul. It's actually mine, but she wears it all the time now. Don't know if I can judge this one fairly because like, it's not brushed out and it has not like been worn. It's been like living in a bag for like a year and change at this point. It is so, like it needs like a wash and a detangle and like just, it needs to be styled so desperately. I will say it's weird though, because there are like these layers here. Like, I don't know what's going on. And I might be mistaken, but I think they're a different color than the rest. No, nope, I'm not mistaken. They are a different color than the rest of the wig. I guess that could be artistic preference. I know people do that where they'll dye like the underside of their hair, but like, this is taking that to a whole new level. It's just the top. Since I made an alter ego with the last wig, I feel like I have to do that with this wig. So this woman, wait, who said I have to be a woman? I think that in this wig, I'm a man. Oh my gosh, you know what? I'm gonna run with it. I think I'm a man who's like a sex symbol. I'm a sex symbol in this wig. And that's on period. Because, Think about like the men with like the long flowing hair, like blowing in the wind. That is the vibe that this wig gives me. I am definitely thinking of Fabio, but I never say his name. I mean, look at those locks, the original why and storylines. I think I live in like Oregon maybe? Or no, I think I live in California. I don't know, maybe I just like live in a van. Oh my goodness, I see it now. I'm a sex symbol who lives in a van and just goes where the tide takes me. I follow the waves, I surf, which is why my hair looks a little like crunchy because it's just salt water, you know? I also can't stop playing with it. I keep doing this just to flip it off my shoulders. <laughs> also, I just love having something I can tuck behind my ears. <laughs> I see a future where she is in much better condition. Um, however, right now, as it is, I think I'd rank it like a six, six and a half. Let's say six and a half. Would I wear this in public? Maybe when she's like fully styled, you know? Got some wave, some shine, and a brush through it. <laughs> then I think we would be in business. But right now, I just don't think I would do myself the disservice of wearing this big in public because it's in rough shape. It's just not it. It is not yet living up to its full potential. And that's, that's okay. It's okay. Okay, this is the next one. Um, I, again, should have brought a brush. Oh, wait, I remember. This one has a side part, but like you have to wear it in the side part or it's just like not the same length. Okay, wait, I'm kind of fucking with this. I kind of love it a lot. It does need to be brushed out. Again, like my mom hasn't really been wearing her wigs as much given we're in the middle of a Pandora's box. So where would she be wearing it, you know? I can't fault her on that. So this has been living in a bag for a minute. This is one that I helped her choose. This is the one that she sent me a picture of and was like, should I, should I buy it? And I was like, yes, live your truth, queen. I think it's too extreme of a side part. I feel like this is just too much. I also know there's that whole debate over like side parts versus middle parts and like middle parts are in now. They're so cool. So I would never be caught dead with this. Oh my God. Even before like the whole debate of like side parts versus middle parts um, came to the forefront of our lives, I would not wear my hair this parted right it's just a lot and maybe that's my gen z showing but i stand by that statement i'm gonna try wearing it in the middle part and seeing what it really looks like but if i tuck it wait if i tuck it that could like and if i tuck it and just tell my head like this all the time then nobody would ever know <laughs> i didn't know that it was a side part only wig when i picked it out because it was like one picture that my mom sent me um and i also have no hair so I don't think everybody think about the way that, that my hair parts ever. Um, however, I can see now that the side part only is a little bit, it's like shackles, you know? I like options. Now you really look crazy, okay? You look ins- Oh my God, wait. But this length, this is it. This is the cutest length. The story for this wig, I feel like I'm the it girl on my campus. I am the it girl. I'm out there 
wearing my oversized t-shirts and like my crocs with all the cute giblets <laughs> i love turtles it's my personality trait i'm just like a typical college girl but i'm better than you i also feel like it looks like dog ears you know that dog with like the big ears just put a picture chia put a picture thank you so next up i'm going to do the braided ones let's get these out of the way this like Oh my god. Uh, this isn't something I have to ever do. I know I feel like I just embarrassed myself. I got bested by a hair tie. If anybody watching this has like African parents, you have seen this wig. You've seen it on your mother's head, on your auntie's head, and maybe even on your sister's head. Everybody and their mother has this wig. When we go to Nigerian parties, everybody has this wig on. This is like that wig, you know? And my mom, you know, she has to jump on the trend. I don't like this wig. I don't? Because it's just like so bulky. It makes me feel like claustrophobic almost like there's just so many of these things that like fall into your face which is why my mom has this thing on it because like you have to keep it out of your face somehow it's not awful you know i've been desensitized because like i said everybody has this wig why not i think it's like a seven um would i wear it you know what maybe i would wear it if you caught me in the right mood maybe i'd wear it okay i would wear it to an african party right because it's like a, that's a safe territory i would not wear it like to go get lunch with my friends though um or even to the grocery store <laughs> But my personality, ooh, who am I in this wig? I think I'm an African mother. I just become my mom at this point. That's my life, raising my kids in a new land. Everybody says that I look just like my mom. So at this point, maybe I am her. Maybe it's me and her, or maybe it's just us together. And that is my life in this wig. Oh God, oh God. I really like this like braiding here, but also like, um, when I wore it in my last video, I had a scarf tied around my head because this lace situation is not it. Would I wear this in public? Uh, yes, I would. I'm gonna say that right now. I love the color. Um, I don't think I want this color permanently, but like for a day, sign me up, please. Yes. You can't even tell me this isn't a good color for me. Maybe not the shirt, but with my outfit in my last video, I would have broken necks walking down the street. Period. The person that I am in this wig, you're a neighborhood activist. I am anti everything anti the obvious things obviously anti-racism anti-hate anti-oppression but i'm also like anti things you wouldn't expect i'm anti the color red because it's like a color of hate and we don't like that in this household paper straws anti-stripes even though i'm wearing stripes right now why who knows i'm just anti everything on my high horse like i'm better than you because i'm anti more everything than you i hold protests on the weekends against paper straws and stripes and the color red and that is my story this is the wig that my aunt gave me that my mom stole but it's fine. I would give this, with, with the top covered, I think it would be like an eight. I really liked it. But in my last video, when I was like talking about how to be the main character, if you haven't seen it, it'll be up in the cards. I was feeling myself, okay? Maybe a little too much. I was watching the video back and editing it and just being like, why am I acting like this? <laughs> okay, on to the curly wigs. Oh gosh. I feel like, I feel like the baby and proud family. Damn boy! Is there no part? Am I supposed to make one? Um, I'm confused because I thought these were curls, but they're definitely not. They're like twists. I think this would have looked a lot more realistic if it wasn't so dark black. But if you've ever bought like um, braiding hair, you know what I mean? They have like that dark black color, which is always too dark for my hair. So I always had to get the one that's like right underneath it. I don't know. There is no part, which is very confusing. I don't know how I would wear this. My mom wears it though. I've seen her wear this so many times. Okay, I think this is as good as it's gonna get. Um, I don't like it. I think that like one wrong move and it's all back in my eyes. It makes me feel like I'm Corbin Blue and jump in though. Or High School Musical or any of his movies. What if I rate this? I think I'd rate it. The question is, is it worse than that volume wig at the beginning? And I don't think, I don't think it is. I don't think it's worse than that wig. I would rate this, I'll give it a six. I don't like love it, but I don't hate it either. You know, I'd wear this in public. I don't know. The more that I wear it, the more it kind of grows on me. I guess the answer is however I feel at the time of me putting this wig on. My story in this wig is that I am, I don't know, who am I? Oh my gosh, I know. I am the next big American Idol contestant. I win, I have the biggest sob story. I was born without a mother. I just appeared. Whose womb? They don't know. So I, I raised myself. I breastfed myself from my own teat at the age of zero years old. <laughs> say monica can you laugh at that because damn it is fun i found that i could sing and i'm here to do it on national television and then all the judges are crying 
Howie is current. Oh, Howie's not on that show. Lionel Richie stands up and applauds. Best thing he's ever heard. And then I win. And then my career goes nowhere. This is the last one. I love this wig. I, I remember I posted a picture of this a few years ago and I just remember feeling like such a bad bitch in this wig. Oh my God. Okay, also though, like I will say it's kind of annoying when this happens. Like there is no separation between like my face and my head now. It's just hair. I don't know how to part this. I think it's good for pictures, not so much for like actually walking around and living in because I don't know where the hair goes. Whatever. It can be in my face. I don't care. I don't have I don't have to see. I think I would rate this wig like an eight. Not not a ten because it is kind of hard to navigate. Like it, there's not really much room for my face. But I still like it. For pictures, a ten. A ten! That was it for this video. I'm going to end it here because I've tried on all the wigs and I've been sitting on this floor for almost an hour talking about wigs. So I love that for me. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know which one was your favorite wig. Let me know and let me know why. I want to know the details. That being said, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Follow me on my social media, all the things that I'm supposed to say at the end of the video. And I will see you next week. Bye.